Time for the Doctors In. Today we're joined by Tiffany Mitchum from the Southern Cancer Center. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about um, some ph pharmaceutical treatments for cancer, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, first question here, let's just dive right in. What is oral chemotherapy or oral cancer treatment? Um, I think when patients are diagnosed with cancer, there's so many things that kind of go through their mind. And one of those is, what is the treatment going to look like for me? What am I going to have to do? And traditionally, I think a lot of people really think that um, chemotherapy is only available intravenously. And um, that's not really the case. There are so many more options now than there were 20 years ago. And um, oral um, chemotherapy or things that you take by mouth um, are showing statistically, you know, uh, great patient outcomes, um, quality of life, and um, it, it's exciting. It's very interesting because, you know, I obviously think of it as um, using an IV. I didn't know this even existed, but do all cancers have oral options or just certain types of cancers? There's several different um, cancers that do have oral options. I can't, I can't tell you that every one of them does, but um, what's interesting is in uh, 2017, there were 15 new oral, um, I mean, there were 15 new oncolytic therapies, um, cancer treatments that mm -hmm. were developed and, and marketed, and of those 15, nine of them were oral. So I think that this is a way that um, the treatment of cancer is really progressing. Um, there are options for metastatic breast cancer, prostate cancer, um, renal cell. So uh, it, it's it's an amazing um, advancement in in treating cancer and treating the whole patient. With it progressing, like you say, um, is this type of treatment becoming more and more common from year to year? Um, I think that allowing patients to do oral therapy, um, you can take your morning dose, you know, at your house and your PJs, and then you can, you know, the next dose that you take, you can take, you know, in London or France because it, it allows you that flexibility and, and allows patient convenience. So I think that there's a trend, you know, to, and patients are living longer, um, and which is allowing patients to be free from that traditional infusion chair and having to go, you know, to the clinic every other week. Um, it's still chemotherapy. Um, just because you take it orally doesn't mean that it's not strong and it's not um, going to treat your cancer. It just allows patients a lot of flexibility. What might be some of the side effects of this? Um, traditionally, uh, th there are um, special side effects because you are taking something orally. Um, mm -hmm. So diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. Um, there is a couple of side effects that are unique to oral therapy. Um, rashes uh, is one. Um, having uh, something called hand foot syndrome where the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet get kind of red and blistered and irritated. But the good thing about um, what I do personally um, with Coastal Pharmacy, which is a kind of med medically integrated pharmacy with Southern Cancer Center is, you know, we're there for our patients and we act as that liaison in between, um, you know, the pharmacy, the specialty pharmacy and their oncologist at Southern Cancer Center. So, Well, Dr. Mitchum, we're not done with you just yet. We'll be here on Facebook Live right after this newscast, so make sure to join us there.